When you do a nose job, the nose-lip relation is extremely important. I believe it is one concept that makes the difference on the final result. Look at the nose, look at the lip and look at the face. This is a really important analysis. The way how the nose and the superior lip relate, it depends on your facial development. If you have a longer face, a shorter face, a projected or under-projected face, the appearance of the lip changes even if the lip, the lip per se is exactly the same. Because the starting point of the base of the nose is exactly the starting point of the superior lip, when you do a rhinoplasty, you can change lip position. You can bring the lip downwards when you have a gummy smile or a dental exposure. You can bring the lip upwards, especially in older patients. You can bring the lip forward if you have a deep maxilla. You can bring the lip backwards when you have this projected maxilla or nose in order to put in an ideal lateral profile. All these maneuvers are performed without touching the lip, but just modifying its original position. We must understand that when we do rhinoplasty, the final goal is to adapt the nose to the face and adjust the neighbors. This is the way to achieve the most natural, non-operated look.